Good afternoon everyone, my name is Jack and I'm with Northwest Bus Sales. Today I'm going to be showing you a 2006 Hummer Executive Coach Builders Stretch Limousine. Alrighty then, check this baby out. I believe this is probably the first Hummer limo we've had on the lot. There's a lot of cool features to this bus. A lot of ins and outs, or not bus, a limo. But uh, probably I'm going to miss a few things as well. There's a lot going on with this thing. Uh, first things first, I want to point out this front here. Now, uh, looks as if the previous owner kind of went all out with the LEDs. Got the LED blinkers, LED flashers if you want to call them, the main headlights. Looks like we got some fog lights down there as well. I think those only come on once the thing's actually moving, so I can't really show you those right now. Uh, Hummer limo, as I said, 2006. I'm going to show you the engine area here. Let me grab my tripod, show you how it's opened. Uh, it's kind of like those like C5500 buses. Got the little, little straps down here, just plop them up. And uh, two handles, grab it like a man, just uh, put it up here. It's powered by the uh, GM 6 liter gasoline engine with dual alternators. I want to point that out. If your limo doesn't have dual alternators, well, shoot, you may be in for one hell of a crappy night. But uh, dual alternators, it also has dual compressors as well, which uh, I'm going to show you where the other one's at here in a little bit. Uh, tires, these things are huge. They look awesome. It feels great to drive. Check them out. Uh, kind of your signature Hummer look there. Big tires. And big things. Check it out. All right, going down the side here, uh, I don't see a whole lot of body damage or anything. Um, looks like we got a little bit of, you know, maybe a little chip someone filled in there. A little bit of a little crack. But uh, all in all, I mean, this is a beautiful, beautiful looking limo here. I mean, the, the uh, windows are in great shape. They're all tinted. You can't even see in them, but you can see out of them. And that's a, that's a good thing there. Uh, you know, the handles, I mean, they're not overly worn. They look good. Still shiny. Uh, on the back here, got a, your uh, spare tire. And uh, that door actually opens up, but the seat's all the way to the back there. So I'm not going to open that up there. There is no storage space. Maybe you could put a bolt or something back there. But uh, tire's looking good. <clears throat> rims looking good as well check it out yeah looking down here I mean I'm looking for body damage I mean you know normal wear and tear and all that but uh, you'll see a little bit of some scuff marks down here but I mean very very minimal things here so first things first let's go over the driver area let's pop this baby open so it's a little bit cold I'm gonna get in shut the door here all right so 71,000 miles on this baby and awesome. Uh, I got one of those little round events here. As I said, I'm freezing. I'm going to put that on me here. Um, so, I uh, got your uh, AM FM cassette stereo. It's got the little aux thing. That's for the driver, obviously. Uh, climate controls both sides, the dual climate controls. Now, this thing feels like I'm driving a battleship here or an airplane or something. It's huge. It's got a great feel to it. It's awesome. So, uh, inside the glove compartment here, this is where your executive coach builder's control panel is at. Also got some remotes and stuff for assorted LEDs. Uh, in all honesty, they're all kind of at an awesome mode as they are right now. You know, like the breathing mode, and they're all kind of synced. So I wouldn't really touch those, but, you know, hey, if it's yours, you can do whatever the heck you want with it. So uh, I'll show you the uh, divider. Check this out. There it is. Woo! There's a little preview of things that come in there. All right, and then I will show you how it goes up from back there. Uh, looks like we've got a Bose sound system in here. Um, just uh, obviously a co-pilot seat and everything. Uh, USB ports as well, 12 volt outlets, yada, yada, yada. It's got the whole nine yards, looking good. Uh, adjustable seats and all that. I believe it's heated seats as well. I mean, adjustable mirrors, powered windows. I mean, it's just, it's all, it's all here. It's got all the bells and whistles. It's ready to go. Steering wheel controls for this as well. Source. Uh, looks like it's got the, you know, push to talk. Uh, you know, seek and volume and all that. Steering wheel controls. You know, keep your driver's hands on the wheel at all times. Cup holders. Uh, the upholstery looks great. I mean, previous owner definitely takes care of these things. Looks awesome. Definitely will not disappoint. Oh, there's the bows again. 
um, I believe, yeah, check it out. It's not dark enough outside, but yeah, there's just a lot of little things about this limo that just make it just that much more exceptional. These, uh, I mean, there's just lights everywhere. They're all LEDs. Looks awesome. I'm going to show you underneath. I mean, look, we got minimal, I mean, there's obviously going to be a little bit of surface rust, but uh, I mean, this is not a rusty vehicle by any means. It's looking great underneath. Looks awesome. <laughs> All right. Uh, you got the little, uh, there is a name for these, and I don't know what they are, but it's got these. So I want to point that out. Those are pretty cool. LEDs on the side, side marker lights. And uh, you also got uh, your gasoline fill cap on the driver's side rear there. All right, so now to the, uh, to the part you've all been waiting for. Uh, coming on in, there are two entrances, one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. Let's check this out. All right. So, uh, gosh, there's a lot to go on here. Um, <clears throat> dang, we got, you got your uh, limo style seating here. Very comfortable. I mean, I don't even see a lot of stains or anything like that. I believe it's like a leather stain. I would think stain resistant. Don't hold me to that, but uh, it is a leather. Um, got uh, your uh, seat belts there as well. <clears throat> got your fiber optic lights up here. Lights on the side, ducted climate controls. So uh, basically each person kind of has their own little, it's kind of like, like an airplane. So that is really cool. Definitely, uh, especially for 2006, that was like just coming out. That's an awesome, awesome feature. Uh, emergency exit hatch up top. It's got the glass there so you know, you can look up at the stars at your crazy romantic night. Um, <clears throat> so over here is kind of your uh, HQ. Um, so this, <laughs> This is, actually, this is actually pretty cool. Um, check this out. So it's a touch screen. I know this looks this looks like it was written in Windows 98, but it's not. This thing is actually pretty cool. Uh, you just click divider, and then it's like close. Check it out. Look at that. It's awesome. This thing is freaking cool. Uh, you can go back, you know, turn on the TVs. So turn on the TVs, power, you know, just all the freaking stuff. I don't even know how to, how to work half of this. But like it's got like a remote and everything. It looks, it's pretty freaking cool. So, um, yeah, you can see I turned on the TVs. That one just shut off there, the blue. But uh, yeah, you got one over here in the VIP lounge in the back, which I'll show you here in a second. Uh, I got a Lincoln clock here, kind of cool. Uh, this is the one that works for this. So I figured that out. Uh, this is what takes your DVDs for the, for the TV, of course. You know all of that good stuff i just pressed read the dvd here <clears throat> all right you can see dvd video is now playing check it out i believe it's this awesome film about some fish in an aquarium or something like that so pretty cool yep there they are awesome there's tvs there there's one back there in the vip suite and then one right there so uh, coming down here, uh, you got your bar. Lift this up. Put your. Uh, hopefully, you're having more than water on your uh, your big night out. But uh, got. I mean, this is you know you got your glass, real glass, double tone napkins, black and white, not just one or the other. Looking cool, yin and yang there. I uh, got your sham champagne glasses, and uh, you know more glasses. You want to pour some single malt scotch in there or something. <clears throat> Uh, coming down here, here's a little love seat for two, and then uh, got your champagne glasses again, more glasses, yada yada yada. Over there, you can put your gin and your, you know, freaking Hennessy, whatever the heck you're drinking, um, and another little cooler here. More waters. The waters are even complimentary. Hopefully, don't think waters expire, so you're good there. All right, so going to give you a nice view from the front, looking to the back up here i mean there's just a lot of you know there's a little lights in these little in these little tubes going down you got fiber optics going down the strip going down then you got the uh these things breathe i'm going to turn off our light here so you can see it check that out um you also have ducted ac things underneath there i mean there's just a lot of bells and whistles of this thing got the little blue electricity thing to get things going get the night energized you got some strips down here you can see the reflection right there so that's pretty cool 
Uh, the thing warmed up pretty quick. I mean, I just started this up like a few minutes ago. It's already getting nice and toasty inside. Uh, there is AC. There is a dual compressor AC. There's actually a compressor underneath here. If you turn on the AC through that, um, you will see, you will actually hear it come on. So uh, the heat's on, so it's not. But uh, when you turn the AC on, it is on there. It's pretty cool. What's also cool is that little control panel turns into a TV as well. So definitely multifunctional. Uh, you got USBs, 12 volt outlets. <clears throat> I mean, this is the real deal. This is gonna, this is a recipe for an awesome night out right here. Uh, this is the uh, <clears throat> VIP suite. Um, basically, this is where you know the execs go back here to do whatever it is they do. Uh, you got your little spotlights changing colors, pretty cool. Um, they got their own little personal bar, champagne glasses, regular glasses. They got their own TV. I mean, this thing is. This is pretty cool. It can fit too, but hey, you know, the more the merrier. You can probably fit as many as you want back here. But uh, yeah, pretty freaking cool. So uh, at the end of this video, I will have the video showing like the sound system and everything, just so you can kind of see it all in action. This thing's pretty, pretty cool. All right, we're gonna go out the right side here. Yeah, that's got windows too. Mm, there we go, powered windows. Alright, open it up. Very easy to get out of there. And it's also got the running boards on the side as well. This is just an all around awesome, awesome limo. Well, thank you for watching this Northwest Bus Sales exclusive video tour. If you like this, limo or any other buses on our lot you can call us at 1-800-231-7099 visit us at nwbus.com or email us sales at nwbus.com thank you very much for watching